20 million years ago, long before mankind was even walking upright, let alone backing the rocks together, a white dwarf star in a distant galaxy reached a critical mass and exploded with a violence that can scarcely be countenanced. At such a brief time, it shone with comparable luminosity to the rest of the entire galaxy. A supernova. Now, some 20 million years later, that light's just about to reach the Earth. Indeed, it's shining on me right now. The telescope's pointing right at it. It's just, you can't see it yet because it's lost in the late evening twilight. However, later, in the full dark, I'm going to show you that supernova. It's actually up there in the Big Dipper, Ursa Major, and it's a fairly bright galaxy as galaxies go, M101. That is, if you can actually currently see the Big Dipper, then you're being bathed in the light of one of the most violent explosions that the universe can conjure. Now, by chance, I'd actually taken a picture of this galaxy about a month ago, and went out there a couple of nights ago to get a picture of this phenomenal firework. Indeed, by some reckonings, it's the closest Type 1A supernova for some 40 years. But it's only just beginning, to the point where I may yet well be able to show you this thing live from the eyepiece and not these minutes to hours long exposures. So, yeah, I mean, it's a hell of an undertaking, but I was thinking of doing a time lapse on this one for you. Well, come on, having done sunset on the moon, the rotation of Jupiter and the movement of Uranus, how much bigger and badder can you get than doing a time lapse of an exploding star in a distant galaxy? However, for the moment, all I can do is show you the galaxy at the end of July, and on August the 25th, I'll leave updates on my blog and Twitter, but until then, I'll leave you to take a first look at one of the biggest, baddest booms that you're ever likely to see. I'm telling you, if you'd lit the blue touch paper on this one, your ears would be ringing for weeks.